I want you to know that mothers are one of the best gifts that God has given to this earth. A wise man said, I was reading his quote, he said, if only women understood how God created them, he said that they will never compare themselves with men. Women are living machines. Mothers are living machines. The reason I call them living machines is because God created you mothers to be wired. To be wired. What do I mean? God created men to have boxes. God created them to have boxes. And in these boxes, everything about their life are in those boxes. They have different boxes. Men have boxes for their wife, they have boxes for their children, they have boxes for their business, they have a box for their... So everything men do, they have boxes for each and every one of them. And these boxes, they don't touch themselves. So if a man wants to remember his wife, he will go to the box of his wife. That's when he can remember. If he wants to remember his children, he goes to the box of his children. That's when he remember. But you see women, God did not create you with boxes. He created you with wire. If you understand the way electric works with wire, that is how women works. Everything is connected to everything. The husband is connected to the children, children to the business, business to the school, school. That is why a woman can do many things at a time. That is why you can do many things at a time. A man can do one thing at a time and progress with that one thing. But you see a mother, her baby is at her back. She is cooking. She is cleaning. She is working. She is doing this. She is studying. But notice men. Once a man is, in, is on that newspaper, he has to focus on that newspaper. No other thing can be added to it. Men are very rigid. Before a man will look at a woman and praise a woman, you know that that woman must have been outstanding. But by the time as a woman, you have lost your integrity before your husband. By the time as a woman, you are bringing trouble to your husband. And men know that God has brought women to their life to arrange them. God brings women to a man's life to arrange the man. So by the time as a woman, you change the ordination of God. And a man who was trying to arrange, you come into his life and he becomes more scattered. That man will see you finish. But when a man, the Bible says that Potiphar knew that it was because of Joseph, God blessed him. He knew it. Even so, your husband can know that it is because of you that God has blessed him. He will know it. God looked at a man and said, it is not good. He looked at him and said, it is not good. I can't leave this one like this. It's not good. I will send him a helper. That is why we call the women the Holy Spirit that we can see. Mothers are Holy Spirit because they do the same job with the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I will not leave you without a helper. I will send you a helper. God looked at the man and said, I will send you a helper. You are like the Holy Spirit to help the man, to support him, to make his vision come true. Without you, he can't make it. And that is why mothers, you must improve yourself. Improve yourself. A mother that is rich can never be called a witch. 